हेलो माई स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास इन दिस वीडियो वी शुड लर्न अबाउट जोग्राफी सेटलमेंट पैटर्न्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सेटलमेंट पैटर्न देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सेटलमेंट्स द फर्स्ट वन इज न्यूक्लिएटेड और इट इज ऑसो नोन एज क्लास्टर्ड और इट इज ऑसो नोन एज कॉम्पैक्ट The settlements are shown in red color. These types of settlement will be shown very close to each other. For example, permanent huts, post office, hospital, school, temple, and mosque. All these man-made things, which are shown in red color, are close to each other, so they will be called as nucleated the second type of settlement is that linear the settlements which are found on either side of a river or road they have good communication facilities which help in developing trade so i'll be showing you with the example on the topo sheet after that so first you remember the definition the linear type of definitions will be shown either side of a river or road and they are well connected with metal roads which help in developing trade third type of settlement pattern is known as scattered or it is known as dispersed or isolated they are shown far away from each other and they are found in remote places now let us discuss one by one how these settlement patterns are shown on topographical map the first one is nucleated you can see the red boxes are settlements and these red boxes are shown close to each other you can see one example that is given in your textbook the settlement is nucleated because it's a town dhantrai which the red boxes are shown close to each other so we can interpret and say that it is coming under nucleated pattern or nucleated settlement pattern you would observe that these are very close to each other so they will be termed as nucleated the next one is linear linear means the settlements which are found on either side of a river or road you can see the road that is passing through and once one side can be also shown but either side of the road can be also shown with red boxes and that you would understand that it is linear settlement pattern the red boxes can be shown along the road or across the river you can see on your uh, textbook that is given dholpura uh, it is dhavli so you can see it is a river over there passing through it and beside that settlement pattern is there so this will be called as linear settlement pattern on the topo sheet the next one is scattered settlement when we are able to interpret scattered settlement remember the definition they are shown far away from each other this red boxes are shown far away from each other that means they are not close together so you can see on the diagram they are shown far away from each other so they will be called as scattered settlement in your text we can see the red boxes it will be so small so you can see the red boxes are not close they are scattered they are shown far away from each other so when you are asked to interpret what type of settlement is this in this grid you would be writing scattered settlement 
so conventional signs of settlement patterns you'd see the red boxes complete red box will be termed as permanent huts and the red boxes which are outline of red box are known as temporary huts they are very rare and they are very common so you could say all together types of settlements these are known as nucleated because the settlements are very close to each other and they are known as linear because they are drawn across the road they are located or situated across the both the side of road and they are termed as scattered because they are far away from each other